mystery quest. One, two, four. It's been logged. Tetris. Tetris. to close. I actually forgot to lock the door, but that's fine. Yeah, nothing wrong with another customer. Nothing wrong with another customer. Just, you can just put your stuff there. I gotta just log in a few more games that are in. Alright, cool. Tiny Tunes 2... And the classic Super Mario 3. With manual. Hey Jeff, can you uh, put these on the shelves? Yeah, I just had to log them in. Yeah, thanks. So what can I do for you today? Or tonight, I should say. Jeez, it's been a long day. <clears throat> Looking to trade in those Xbox One games. Nice. I'm actually kind of glad you got a nice stack there. It looks like we're actually trying to uh, build up our Xbox One catalog, you know, inventory. Because, you know, they got the PS5 and the, the new Xbox One. What is it? Series SX or whatever it's called. Um, so we want to build on, you know, PS4. And Xbox One specifically. Switch is still doing its thing. So, but we know people are going to start to, I think, come after those older systems. Well, like they are old. News was supposed to be 2013. Like, God. Seven years, but we know people are going to want to buy them because they're going to start to drop in price, so we want to build them. We have an okay PS4 library. It's decent. Xbox One is definitely lacking, so... I think people are starting to bring their games in now. Their Xbox One, PS4 games in now, too, because the new system's coming. Are you looking to get one of those newer ones? No? I'm waiting myself, too. I'm waiting at least two years. I can't, um, you know, worry about that or whatever. <clears throat> But what do you uh, want with the? Uh, you want some Switch games? I don't mind the cat. This is the uh, store cat here. She's a pain in the ass, but she's woken up from her four-hour nap. So you know. Um. Anyway. All right. So what did you want? Sorry. You want some Switch games? You picked up a Switch. That's smart. You focus on the Switch for now for a year or two. Pick up the same thing I'm kind of doing in terms of just waiting for a year or two. Let the libraries of these newer games, these newer systems build up, and then, you know, maybe get some cheap games and whatnot. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Can you just quickly lock the door back down? Yeah, thanks. Just want to lock the door so nobody else comes in. Um, All right. So you got a nice stack of uh, Xbox One games here. I will say... I'll be honest with you right up front. Some of them might not have much value with some of the games. If that's a... No, you don't care. You just want to get rid of them. You kept the ones you really want to keep. Yep. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing, though, just from glancing at them. But, uh... Got a nice... Nice stack. They all look... Cases all look good, too. Always good to see someone who takes care of their games. Um... Oh, real quick, you know what kind of you're interest, interested in in the, uh, for the Switch? Some RPGs. Yeah. Alright, 
Hey Jeff, yeah, yeah, real quickly, you locked that right? Yeah, can you just kind of pick up some some of the RPGs and some other games for the uh, Switch? Yeah, just leave them out there. Yeah, thanks. All right, he's gonna do that, so we can kind of move this along a little bit. But uh, all right, so anyway, first game we got here, uh, Sunset Overdrive. We're just gonna kind of type in and see, credit-wise, you do want credit, right? All right, good. not worth much <laughs> we can give you two bucks for this is that <laughs> all right you're fine with that as long as it's at least a buck it's a nice looking disc too all right since it overdrive that's two i gotta keep track of this <laughs> i forget sometimes especially with 14 games i don't want to uh miss anything okay got my little calculator out on my phone there so oh god you Siberia 3 how was this is it decent not as good as the first two never got around to playing it oh, that hinge is a little busted that doesn't really matter um, once again that disc looks excellent um Area three is four bucks. That good? You're gonna be good with those, as long as it's under <laughs> over a dollar. All right, then I won't keep uh, down on you. Nice. I enjoyed this game quite a bit. Final Fantasy 15. I know it got some shit, but I liked it. Man, these discs are flawless. I'm, I might stop looking at them. They're that good. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think this has much value. No, three. Not bad. Alright. I also will say that, uh, some Switch games are a bit pricey. I oh, yeah, you knew that you did some research. Uh, what do we got here? Gears of War. Rare Replay Double Pack. That Rare Replay is, uh, is awesome. I love it. I'm a big Rare fan. Um, especially the, the stuff they were doing on the N64, right? Yeah, it's awesome. All right. Mm, six. Yeah, that's been actually going up in value. Here's another one I know that doesn't have value, but once again, a really good game. Again, that disc is uh, excellent. Mass Effect Andromeda. Another game I enjoyed quite a bit. People kind of shit on it. I mean, I could see it had some issues, but overall, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's another two. Here's another cheap one. <laughs> I played some of this and got bored of it. I'm not even gonna look at the discs anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, the discs. So they might have a, some. Might have a few. That's fine. As long as they're not destroyed, it's not a problem. Because sometimes we do fees on the. You know, if you need to rebuff it or whatever, buff it out the scratches. I never really played this. I played some of it and put. It back. I, I gotta pick it up again. I put it down. And moved on to something else, but. Uh, Phantom Pain. That's a tour as well. Ooh, I love this remake. I'm like looking for manuals too, knowing like barely any of them have manuals anymore. <laughs> this is awesome. Did you enjoy this? The biggest file our fan. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, can you grab a? Uh, yeah, grab NG. I'll show you a game in a little bit. Uh, for the Switch. Um, this was an awesome remake, though. Like, a proper remake. Really was good. I heard the third one. I don't know if you played it. You did? It was it was a little different. more action-oriented and stuff. Still good? Hmm. I don't have to check that out. But I heard this one was... I mean, I'm sorry. This one was fantastic. Um, oh, that's a tenor right there. There you go. That always give you a boost, right? Nice, no survival horror. I actually have this. Only put a little bit into it. Oh, 
nice. Got the map too. Did you uh use the DLC? No. All right, cool. You know, Sinking City. And it's got the DLC, so I'm gonna give you a couple extra bucks. So we're gonna say that's a nine. Okay. Oh, nice. King's Quest. I used to love these back on the uh, IBM. I played with my IBM back in the day. Man, I gotta be credit. I mean, these discs, kind of Blu-ray discs, are tougher to scratch regardless, but these are flawless. This has a little bit of value too, I believe. There you go, another tenor. There, that's surprising for the stuff. I picked it up at a G sale. <laughs> yeah, we got we hit G sales as well. We do our little tip there. Maybe I've seen yet some we'll go to garage sales and try to find stuff as well to stock our inventory with. It's just it's smart to do. I don't think Doom has much value. The, the cuts in the case don't do anything to it either. Yeah, that's a four. That's actually more than I thought. Here we go. Assassin's Creed Origins. Deluxe Edition. I use these codes. No. It doesn't affect the value. If you have the code in it, it's up to God, like I did before. It's up to us to really add to the value of it. Um, right, Assassin's Creed Origins. Seven. Yeah, like I said, I mean, these games are kind of losing value, and this, this is how it goes, and I'll be honest with you here. They'll start to kind of drop when the new systems come out, and then like in a year or two, maybe even three, some of the games will start to creep, creep, creep back up, because people are going to start wanting it more. It's weird. Systems disappear for like two, three, four, five years, and all of a sudden people want it more for some reason. Even though they probably bought it when it came out, they want it again, or they want it more. Maybe they missed out, and then, you know, 15, 20, 25, you know, in, in, in case of, like, Nintendo, Genesis, now all, everybody wants them, you know, which is cool. You know, parents now letting their kids, you know, they're introducing their kids to the systems they played, which is cool because people should play that old stuff. Yeah, you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. This is a good one, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> it's funny you actually say that. I was just going to say that. It didn't feel like a true Assassin's Creed game hell of an open world game but it's an Assassin's Creed it's probably not even in my top five or six of them you know, stuff like Black Flag and, and two and uh, three I really enjoyed those I've, I've definitely put those above it um, Syndicate as well I really like that I like Syndicate too nice this one was an awesome open world game though I put like a hundred something hours into this the game world was huge it was almost too big Twelve on that one, not bad. Uh, never played this one. Wanted to get around to it, never did. Advanced Warfare it was good. It looked pretty cool. I, I'll tell you, I know it doesn't have value. Oh, you picked it up at G sale for a couple bucks. You're not gonna worry. Then you're probably gonna get three bucks. There you go, three dollars that you paid. Boom, and you got to play it. So got it for free. This one I did play and enjoyed. World War II. This game's actually starting to go back up in value. Yeah. Probably because they're pumping out so many... Uh, um, the newer ones, you have the Modern Warfare, and now they're doing blood. What is it? Black Ops Cold War is coming out. And a couple came out after this, right? Did Black Ops 4 come out after this? I know that was more multiplayer-oriented with almost like little missions as single-player. Anyway, sorry. This is a good one, though. <clears throat> like I said, it's... Yeah, it's 10 as well. Okay. Well... I'll log these later. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> you got $84 in credit. Let me just open up a thing for you here. That's a good amount.
Nice. Yeah, and you should be able to get at least two to three games. All right. So he brought over NG. All right, my buddy brought over some games to look at. He wanted to see RPGs. We've got three here. There are some more. Uh, two of them are sealed and new. Is that a problem? First one here is Octopath Traveler. I'm going to tell you about this briefly. Now, did you look any games up? You did? Did you read about this one? You did? Good things. I'm going to tell you. Everything you hear about this game is true. It's awesome. It's a throwback. What do you... Uh, I'm not going to ask your age. You seem around my age, but... You grew up with, like, Super Nintendo, Genesis, type of RPGs. Even PlayStation, for that matter. The original PlayStation. Yeah. This is a throwback to, like, those Final Fantasies and stuff. It's got the 16-bit look to it. It's really cool. The fighting system's fun. You got eight different characters here. And then you pick one to start with, and then you find the others, and you got to do their little stories and stuff. Like, a little backstory thing. It's really cool. It's really enjoyable. Um, I don't believe it's that much. It's thirty dollars used, which is a good price. I think it sells for about forty-five or fifty new. And I mean, the case is in good shape, and they're cartridges, so you don't have to worry about discs being ripped up. But um, you want this one? Oh, you definitely want this one. Nice. Okay, so that's thirty. Now we're going past the tax right now. We had some issues. Um, and we stopped, and we started, and we stopped again. And now we're rebuilding after all the you know, stuff in yeah, the last like six months or whatever. For now, we're not. All right, I got two sealed ones here. Um, you know, Cooney, The Wrath of the White Witch, which is. Um, oh, you played this journey? All right, then. <laughs> um, and uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. This is an extracurricular edition. Uh, that means I get a 26 bonus cosmetic DLC items, 20 page mini art book, and an animated lenticular card. I don't know what that is. I haven't played this. Um, I don't know if you know the series. Uh, I've heard it's good, though. Um, I heard they're good RPGs. They're fun. They're long. I don't know if you want to give it a go or not. Like I said, I wish I could tell you more, but. Oh, you read a little bit about it? This one is. Oh, it's got a little sale going on. It's $30 new, actually. Nice, you'll take it. Bingo. Oh, two more sh You said you were into survival horror, so I want to show you a game. But real quickly, I'll show you Mario Odyssey. It's classic. Um, awesome game. Super long, super fun. Challenging. The hat is a nice gimmick or whatever. The hook of the game, you get the hat. Your hat gets destroyed by Bowser, so like this group of like this species or race of hat things. <laughs> uh, this guy Cap he comes, and then you can possess other Goombas, you can possess the Chain Chomps, the um, Koopas, everybody. You can uh, pretty much possess. You can possess freaking dinosaurs in this one, T-Rex. It's it's wild. It's pretty out there. And you got the city and stuff. It's weird. Um, it's cool though. No, you're not looking for any kind of Mario right now. That's fine. <laughs> I want to show you this one, though. It's not... It's survival horror, but it's not... It's more like graphic novel horror, or visual novel horror, I should say. It's called, uh... NG. It's cool, but... It's creepy. You gotta do, like... it. You don't do much. You gotta find little, like... You gotta find items and stuff and use them, but it's not... It's not involved. Um... You just choose stuff to use. You're not like you were walking down paths and choosing, but you're not. You don't see any character that you're using, like third person or anything like that. But it's really cool. It's creepy. I will say it says here, Volume Two, Spear and Hunter. Now the first one is uh, Deathmark, which I would highly recommend as well. We don't have it. It's on the Vita if you have a Vita, and I believe it made it to the PS4 and PS3 as well. And it's on the Switch though. But if I it's, this sounds interesting. Well, you know, I can tell you if I get the other one in, uh, maybe give me an email or something, put you in, in in the database, and I can, you know, email you when I get it. No, we don't send, like, random emails. Um, but, you know, we like to like, kind of have people's emails so we can say, you know, especially if you're a customer and you might be a recurring customer. You know, sometimes we give you a little heads up on things. Maybe there's extra trade-in or something. Or if new games come out or games you're interested in pop in, we'll just directly email you, so... 
I'm telling you though, it's hard to kind of describe this, but it's cool. I will say Death Mark is a little more involved than this, and it is creepy, but this one's good as well. And they're supposedly making a third one in Japan. I don't know if it's going to make its way over here. I hope it does. Sound cool? Nice. Let's see. I don't know. I don't think it's that much. Uh, 15 used. All right, cool. You're going to have some money left, so that's always a bonus. What did I say? 30, 60? So we got 75, so you can have nine left over. All right, here are your games. Oh yeah, you want to give your email? Yeah, All right, cool. Is that at Yahoo? You want me to send you? Yeah, all right, I'll send you the receipt through email. All right, that's done. Yeah, um... I'll email you. Want to email when that comes in? Any other survival horror games as well on the Switch? That's where you're going. You're going to go just full on with the Switch for now for like a year or two and then pick up one of the... Yeah, it's smart. You know, I need to do that because sometimes I focus on a few systems and, that, and then my backlog piles up. It's smart to just focus on one. Okay. There are your games. All right, thanks again for bringing those Xbox One games. Like I said, we need to do inventory, uh, beef up our inventory on those. Do you have any more? Let us know, right? Yeah, man, enjoy those games. Let you know. Let me know what you think of them if you come in again or whatever. And uh, yeah, our email is on the front door. So if you see an email from that, it's from us. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know if it comes in. Um, there's a few others. I've been a sinking city in the. You know, here's one. I don't know if you played it. Call of Cthulhu. You haven't. You saw it. Yeah, it's on the Xbox One as well, but it's actually on the Switch. And it's not that much. If we can get that in. I highly recommend it. It's not that expensive. Um, we're supposed to get a shipment in of, of Switch games. I'm hoping that's in there. It definitely is cool. It's, it's kind of short, but it's worth the money for sure. It's not expensive. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll let you know all that stuff, right? Yeah, thank you. Enjoy your night. Oh, yeah. Can you unlock that for him? Thanks. No, we don't need to try. That's worse things than being trapped in a store full of video games, right? <laughs> all right, yeah, night. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's been a long day, huh, man? I'm just going to log these, and uh, you know, we'll throw them on the shelf tomorrow, but I'll log them tonight. All right, man. Yeah, you can head out. I'll be here for another, like, 20 minutes. Nothing long. All right, man. Later.